today we're going to create an interactive bubble art drawing. The materials you're going to need to create this interactive bubble art drawing are thick paper, a pencil, black marker, coloring supplies like markers, crayons, or colored pencils, scissors, and tape and chopsticks or a pencil are optional. Since we cannot be together this April during Bubble Day for Autism Awareness, I thought drawing some bubbles would be the next best thing. If you don't have any actual bubbles to blow at home, this is the perfect solution to participate without them. I'm going to start by drawing the bubble wand. I sort of planned out where my nose was going to be, that triangle up there. I'm starting with the letter C and drawing the handle below. Make sure to draw the handle going off the page. I'm going to draw a second line a little bit over from my first one for the wand. That way when we cut it out, it'll give us something to hold on to. Now I'm giving the wand some depth by drawing another C to turn this line into a wand into a shape. Now I'm just connecting the top and bottom of my letter C's with gentle curves. It should look like a flat oval. Plan out how big you want your bubble to be. Start from the inner curves of your bubble wand and draw a big curve out and around. There really isn't any right or wrong way to draw your bubble. Make yours as big or as little as you want to. Now that you've drawn your bubble coming out of your wand, this is the easy part. Draw a bunch of bubbles all around. You can use something circular to trace or just freehand. Make them big, make them small, however many and however you want to draw them. Grab a black marker and start tracing. Outline your bubble wand and all of your bubbles. Use whatever coloring materials you have to add some colorful detail to your bubbles. It's really easy to make bubbles look realistic. The key is to follow the outer shape of the bubble, follow the curve of the circle, and keep your lines simple. It also helps not to color inside the entire bubble. Try sticking to just the outer edges with a couple lines here and there on the inside. Because remember, bubbles are typically see-through or transparent. So if we're only keeping our color to the outer edges, it's going to look like we can see right through the center of the bubble. Do you ever notice a rainbow in a bubble? A bubble gets its color from light waves reflecting between the soap's outer and inner surfaces. The distance between the layers gets smaller as the water evaporates, making the colors change. Don't forget to color your bubble wand! Now it's up to you. You're either all done and go interact outside with your bubble picture, or you can carefully cut around. I'm going to carefully cut around all of my bubbles, leaving a little bit of a white border. You can also get rid of some bubbles that maybe don't fit into your scene. support, choose something that is sturdy, like chopsticks or a pencil. Grab some tape, flip over your art, and tape it to the handle of the wand. Now it's time to take your artwork and blow some pretend interactive bubbles. 